the Trump administration's Justice Department appointed former FBI Director Robert Mueller as special counsel to lead the investigation of Russian meddling in the 2016 election. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein made the decision after Attorney General Jeff Sessions recused himself from the Russia case. President Trump himself cast a shadow on the investigation after the appointment, calling it a witch hunt. So what is special counsel? It's an individual who oversees an investigation, either when the Justice Department has a conflict of interest or when it's in the public interest to appoint outside counsel. In this case, Rosenstein cited public interest as the reason to give someone outside the normal chain of command authority over the investigation, rather than have himself or U.S. attorneys directly oversee it. Special counsel has been used before, most memorably during the Watergate investigation. Mueller will investigate any links between the Russian government and Trump's campaign, as well as any attempts to interfere with his investigation. His budget and personnel come from the Justice Department, but he can also request to bring in specific individuals. And while there are rules about how special counsel operates in order to give them independence, Mueller still technically answers to Rosenstein and could still be fired by him. While there were many calls from Democratic lawmakers for an independent investigation, there are many types. Special counsel is solely appointed by the Justice Department and looks for criminal wrongdoing. The other types are more broad and more public. An independent commission, like the one created after the September 11th terrorist attacks, requires passage of a law signed by the president and is overseen by Congress. Independent counsel, like the one used for the investigations into former President Bill Clinton, was appointed by federal judges before the law creating the appointment process expired in 1999. And then there are the existing select congressional committees that are probing the Russia matter, which are in both the House and the Senate. While independent commissions and select committees broadly investigate matters of public concern, special counsel's job is to look for evidence of a crime, not expose any wrongdoing to the public. That means that if Mueller is unable to find sufficient evidence to bring charges against any individuals, the information he uncovers may never come to light. He will ultimately decide if criminal charges are warranted, and will then prosecute the case if so.